concept of uh, virginity. Uh, as we know, the vaginal uh, oocyte retrieval is the standard method for oocyte uh, retrieval and for oocyte uh, freezing. However, in some cases, to, we need to respect uh, their decision and to um, uh, find another uh, method. So uh, our study is a co uh, retrospective cohort study, which includes the patients who came for our center, uh, Health Plus Fertility Center, to do uh, egg, social egg freezing. Uh, and uh, according to the choice of the woman uh, to have uh, abdominal uh, or vaginal uh, uh, oocyte retrieval. Uh, it's uh, done over uh, seven months and uh, we have uh, 59 uh, patients underwent stimulation. Five uh, of them were uh, not responding well, so they were cancelled. And uh, 19 uh, women uh, went for transvaginal uh, egg uh, retrieval. Uh, all of them were uh, married and uh, the rest, were, which were uh, 34 uh, women, uh, goes for uh, or uh, they were planned to have transabdominal uh, egg uh, retrieval. Uh, s s uh, uh, 31 of them, we, we did uh, for them uh, abdominal retrieval. However, three of them were having difficulty to get the, the oocyte where from uh, abdominal uh, uh, or with, with uh, the ultrasound guided because there were uh, vessels or intestine between the anterior abdominal wall and uh, the oven. Uh, if we compare the cases for which were planned to have transabdominal versus trans uh, versus uh, uh, trans vaginal egg retrieval, uh, we can find that there is no dif difference for the number of oocyte retrieved per follicle, which expresses the expected number uh, to get from both group. So it's effective to uh, to do a transabdominal to get what we 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 need. And also regarding uh, the time for the post procedures were not uh, significantly different and no complications recorded in, in, in any of these groups. However, if we go for the three cases which were uh, ch uh, changed to uh, laparoscopic egg retrieval, surely we will find that the time for laparoscopy and egg retrieval were significantly longer than the uh, time for the vaginal or the uh, abdominal uh, group. Uh, uh, and uh, here we can have a video, uh, I think, uh, uh, if we can go for a video. So what, uh, we can go for a video presentation. Uh, so until the video will be open, uh, my conclusion that transabdominal egg retrieval is uh, a safe and effective alternative to transvaginal egg retrieval for social uh, egg freezing. However, we need to count since the patient that there is a small possibility to shift to uh, laparoscopic egg retrieval. It was less than 10% of cases, uh, but uh, I, uh, we should uh, understand uh, that it needs also learning curve to, be, uh, to do it in a perfect way and uh, we need uh, for sure technically we need to evacuate the urinary bladder and uh, not to go with the needle uh, uh, inside the ovary without being sure that no organs no viscera uh, whatever vessels uh, intestine bladder between the anterior abdominal wall and uh, the ovary thank you very much if there is a possibility to see the video it will be uh, good thank you Thank you very much. Uh, we can allow about two questions. Yes. Thank you for your uh, presentation. My question is about the BMI. Would the BMI make any difference? And what was the indication to convert into a uh, uh, What we found in uh, the baseline demographic data that the BMI for the, the group with abdominal were significantly higher than who went for vaginal. To me, as a, as a surgeon, uh, I don't care about the BMI for the uh, abdominal egg retrieval. Uh, and in some cases, even with uh, uh, usual cases, married and the vaginal approach, 
can be difficult in morbid obese and sometimes we need to do it uh, abdominally. Thank you. Thank you so much for the interesting lecture. My question is the uh, difference between trans abdominal and trans rectal. What is the outcome and for this? Difference between? Uh, uh, trans abdominal and trans rectal. Ah. What is the outcome? Uh, regarding the, the trans rectal, because it's a common practice in uh, UEE to do rectal approach. I don't advise for it. Uh, it's technically easy, but I cannot uh, defend myself if there is any complication from it. So I consider it as a last choice if we, we need to do uh, egg retrieval for a virgin woman. And we need to consider this, uh, this procedure is completely elective procedure. We don't want to put the patient at risk uh, because we will freeze her eggs. And trans abdominal is acceptable uh, uh, as alternative for trans Thank you. We can allow one more question. Uh, a question a bit out of the technique. How many of these patients come back for uh, embryo, embryo transfer and having using these eggs? But as far as I remember, it's only about 10% of them come back to use their eggs. 10% you are so enthusiastic because actually uh, literature it's from 5 to 7%, not for only for social egg freezing, for all uh, egg freezing even for oncological reasons. So no, no, I think no, nobody of this, uh, nobody of this, no woman of this, I think uh, she had a, a, a embryo transfer. And she are not married, hoping, hoping to marry soon. Oh my God. So we can help them. <laughs> Thank you very much for the uh, nice presentation. Then we are moving on to the next uh, presentation.